The AJ Bell Stadium here in Manchester, and the home of English Premiership. Sale Sharks today provides the backdrop, and a very wet backdrop it is at that, for the second matchup of day three between New Zealand and Wales in Pool A. A confident strike, and he'll be absolutely delighted with that one. Good work by New Zealand, but it's still there for Wales. Jones may well spot it a gap, and need little chips. No, it's a try for Wales. You see here, Mitchell Jacobson's done a good job. He's got off, assisted there by Michele Tu. On your side, this one, yeah. But. Wales kept their composure, there's a disconnect in the line, TJ Vars coming up, the ball in behind, and it's a good finish by Joe Thomas. Now then, Dan Jones from halfway, it's still climbing, and it's there! Right footed, steps up, and claims the opening pointsman for New Zealand. And Wills piling the pressure on New Zealand here. It's another three-pointer for Dan Jones. And they lead New Zealand by 14 points to three. They will get a penalty, quickly taken by Sam Nock. Out it goes to Vaha. Cuts back inside. Five metres out then from the Welsh try line. Could this be the moment? And referee Jadiswini goes into his pocket. Number five. And he's already no, pinged Captain. Seb Davis for the high tackle early on, and Wales will be down to 14 men for the opening 10 minutes of the second half. No, yeah. New Zealand want to score. Will they be denied this time? Knock. No, he won't. And that's an important score for the New Zealand under 20 side, claimed by their scrum half. Yeah. Good scrum from New Zealand, obviously numerical advantage. Sam Nock, seen him do this plenty of times through his school rugby and now coming into the pro ranks. Very quick, very strong. And steps up, makes no mistake with the conversion. Quickly into midfield, Millard uh, looks to release Jared Rosser. Do we need to take that? Yeah, Jordan Barrett just followed through there. Taking well, the not man. Preempt. Yeah, and he's, he's what he's, the referee he's, might do. He's copped a bit of a shoulder there. We play the man without the ball, and it was dangerous. Had no arms, therefore that's ten minutes for him the game. Yeah, it was inevitable, really. Jordi Barrett will spend the next 10 minutes in the sin bin. So Dan Jones steps up. Clearly no ill effects from that uh, illegal challenge by uh, Jordi Barrett. And Wales lead in New Zealand. Get on side. Strange steps inside his opposite number, Lewis Hughes. Meter short from the Wales trial, and this time Stevenson is through. Really hard for the big guys in that, you know, when, when you come up against the Stevenson, who just moves so well and off both feet. We've seen him today step off his left and his right. Black, stay on your feet. New Zealand pile everything into the attack. They have the advantage here. It's going to be a penalty, and that would be enough, possibly. Barrett, out it goes. Will the referee call them back? Yes, he will for the penalty, and this could yes. well prove to be decisive. Are you seeing this, JD, on the screen? Yeah, I'm seeing it now. Okay. Oh, I mean, 
I'm not sure what Tom Williams would try to do. You know, you, you're naturally going to put your hand up. You're naturally going to try and get that ball. Okay, that was a deliberate knock into touch. Therefore, you know, card. So Jordy Bates. 15 metres in from touch and 4 or 5 metres outside the uh, last 22. Steps up and slots the penalty which gives New Zealand the lead for the very first time. A Wales yet again going to be denied by just the one point. We didn't want it to come down to there but we got the four points and we're in with a chance in the semi-final so that's all we want. We were looking to get a four, four try bonus point but we did the job and got the win. That's how Poole has finished with New Zealand uh, with two wins and uh, just stealing that from Wales right at the death, so they're on ten points.